back down, bring the knee back in. Prep number two, both legs are up. Inhale, exhale, scoop and roll up into that B position. Inhale the arms by the ears. Exhale, try to get your low back down first and then you'll bend the knees, lower the head. Again, rolling up, lengthening the legs if you can. And at any time that one of these preps feels awkward or difficult, you can go back down to with one foot on the floor. This next time, you'll inhale up and then exhale, lower everything together. So your feet come down with the legs straight. Inhale the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, everything goes up together into a V position. Scoop through your low abdominals and then roll down with control, keeping the legs out. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, low back down. Try to keep those legs in one place the whole time. Again, breathe in, exhale, roll up. Inhale, reach the arms by the ears with control, slowly roll down. Inhale, exhale to roll up. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, everything comes down together in a nice long line. Use your roll up to come back to a sitting position. Boomerang. Right leg over the left. Inhale, exhale to kick yourself backwards. Inhale to switch out the legs. Exhale to roll up into that V position. Inhale and exhale, roll forward without just collapsing down. So you inhale as you switch the legs. Exhale to roll up. Notice that the hands are on the floor for the prep. For the full exercise, you hover your hands. Inhale, exhale over. Inhale, switch the legs. Exhale up to your V position. Inhale, reach those arms back. Exhale, lower the legs and reach your body forward. Inhale, switch the legs. Exhale, roll up to your V position. Try to stick that position. Then you'll reach the arms back and round forward. Inhale, exhale over. Inhale, switch the legs. Exhale, roll up to that teaser V position. Inhale, reach your arms back. Exhale, slowly lower down. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to switch. Exhale, scoop through the low abdominals. Reach those arms up. Reach your arms back and round it forward. In order to balance out the body, we need to open up the opposite direction. We'll do this with the second section of core conditioning, focusing on our back and our glutes. Sitting up for the spine twist. Crossing the legs. Taking the arms out to the sides. Lengthen up through the spine. Inhale three times as you twist to the right and exhale to center. Inhale, 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 exhale, center. So as you're twisting, you wanna focus on rotating the rib cage on top of the pelvis and visualize that rib cage as if it's a wet wash rag and you're trying to wring water out of it. More advanced variation with the legs out in front of you, allowing just a teeny tiny bit of movement through the hips, but not a lot. So you are squeezing the inner thighs together, the feet are flexed, the feet can move slightly, but keep it pretty small. And then if you're feeling a lot of pressure through the hip flexors, if you're grabbing through the hips, you can elevate yourself slightly, still doing the inhale as you twist for three, two, one, back to the center. release the arms down. Rolling over onto the stomach. Legs are laterally rotated, slightly apart, forearms on the floor. This is your breaststroke prep. Second variation has the hands right in front of the forehead and you lift your upper body keeping the rib cage down on the mat. Third variation with the hands by the sides. Reaching the arms out in front of you, you'll sweep the arms around as you inhale, exhale to reach. Inhale, extend your upper back, exhale to reach out. 
lengthen through the spine. Keep the glutes engaged, keep the abdominals engaged. The feet stay on the floor the entire time. You're working the mid back, but not the low back. Arms right out in front of you. Opposite arm and leg lengthen out. Going into swimming. Making sure you're not holding your breath. Keeping the toes pointed. Glutes tight. Think long rather than high. Go ahead and press back, getting a stretch for the low back. And then coming back down, swan dive prep. Inhale to extend that upper back. You're going to allow the abdominals to leave the floor. So the rib cage comes up, the front of the body comes up, And then as you roll forward, try to maintain that C curve with the spine and lift your thighs. You can also rock forward and then catch yourself. And then you can rock only. As long as you feel in control of this and you're not catching yourself in the low back. It's all glutes and abs, mid back. On the forearms, for one leg kick. You'll point and then flex the foot and bring the leg down. So notice it's a nice smooth pull pull. You can also come down all the way so the upper body is down on the mat. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, release. Squeezing those inner thighs together and working the glutes, the hamstrings, and always the abdominals. For double leg kick, Take the hands behind the low back, bring both heels in three times. It's three small pulses, point, flex, point, legs laterally rotate. They come apart and you extend your upper body slightly off the floor. Each time turning your head from one side to the other. And again, push back. Rolling over onto your back, hands down by the sides, hip lifts. Straight up and lower down. So a little bit different than the warm up because you're not articulating through the spine. You just lift up in one unit and lower the sacrum down onto the mat. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Trying not to let the knees flare open keeping all 10 toes pressing down into the mat. Stay connected across the front of the rib cage and keep the tension out of the neck and jaw. This next time, you'll develop that right leg to the ceiling and then flex the foot to lower at knee level three times. Place the foot back down on the floor, keep the hips up, and developer that left leg up. 
pointing and flexing the foot. Lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to développe. Exhale lower, inhale lift. Exhale lower, inhale lift. Exhale lower, inhale lift. Bend the knee and roll it down, exhale. Développe the leg up, flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. One more time, bend the knee, set that foot down, set the sacrum on the mat. Rocking yourself up, coming to a kneeling position. Tip over onto the right hand, extend your left leg out. Left hand in front of the forehead and lift your left leg hip level. Point the toe, flex the foot. You'll lift and lower. Exhale and inhale, trying to keep the leg hip level or higher. Now point the toe and circle the leg. Keeping the hips forward, abdominals engaged, and you've reversed the circle 10 times each direction. Flex the foot, kick the leg forward for two, lengthen back with the toe pointed. Inhale, inhale, exhale to reach back. All about stabilization. Always thinking about keeping the rib cage connected, the abdominals tight, and then set that foot down and reach over into a side bend and come down. Inhale up over, reaching that left hip towards the ceiling, get a nice long line through the left side of the body. Inhale to reach and exhale to lower down. Going on to the other side, start from that kneeling position, tip over onto the left hand, right leg is out, right hand in front of the forehead and lift your right leg up. Point lift, flex lower. That left thigh is perpendicular to the floor. Keeping your right leg hip level or higher. And then point the toe and circle the leg one direction. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Reverse the circle. Toe is pointed, leg is long. Now flex your foot, kick the leg forward for two, and lengthen the leg back one. Inhale, inhale, exhale, reach back. You really wanna feel the length of the leg from the hip all the way out through the toes. A lot of this is balance, and you'll reach over into your side bend and lower down. Inhale up over, really lengthen through that right side and come down. Inhale up over, and exhale to come down. Bonus track one. This section utilizes the split pedal stability chair for weight varying exercises that will tone and shape your muscles. Beginning with forward step up, you have one heavy spring at the top, one heavy spring at the bottom. Right foot is completely on the platform. Left foot is on the pedal. Keeping that left foot in a high half toe position, engaging the left calf, the right quadricep, of course the abdominals. On the 10th one, you'll hold it in place and just bend and straighten that left knee. Making sure the right leg doesn't move at all and you're just lifting and lowering the pedal. Keeping very little weight in those handles. Switching out, make sure the left foot is completely on the platform the right foot stays on the pedal. Abdominals tight. A light grip on the handles. 
breathing naturally, exhaling out through the mouth, inhaling through the nose, and then holding in place, and just bend and straighten that right knee, lifting and lowering the pedal. Lowering yourself down, standing on the pedal for three-way calf raises. Starting with the toes turned out, lowering the heels down with control, keeping the knees straight, the glutes tight, the shoulders relaxed. Turn the toes forward in a parallel position. Same thing, lower and lift the heels. And then your last set, you'll turn the toes in. Just working different angles of the calf muscle. Try to keep a light grip on the handles. Belly button constantly pulling back towards the spine. Shoulders relaxed. Stepping back up to the top of the platform, turning around for forward step down. Making sure the hips are slightly forward, but you maintain a neutral position of the spine. The left knee points down towards the floor. Working through that left foot. You should feel this through the left quad, but not the left knee. Switching out to the other side. The left leg stays straight. The right knee is bent as you go down. And try to keep a light grip on the handles. Changing the springs for tricep dips. Both heavy springs in the top position. Pushing the pedal down with both feet, heels squeezed together, glutes are tight. Press yourself up and then bend the elbows. You don't want the shoulders to dip down lower than the elbows. And keeping the legs really tight and engaged helps control the movement. Use your exhale to push yourself up. Your inhale to bend the elbows, lower all the way down, carefully release the pedal. You have one heavy spring on top, one heavy spring on bottom for cat stretch. Extending the spine as you reach down. The pedal does not have to touch the floor. Inhale, exhale to round the back. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, and then exhale to round the back. 